Hey everyone, I just thought I'd share a video of our ride from Key Largo to Key West. We did this last Friday morning. We do have this nice video for you to watch and we will give you some pointers and some tips and some ideas for fun in Key West should you choose to do this ride yourself. Enjoy! 20 miles in, um, it was raining the first 20 or 12. So we made it here to Starbucks and uh, postcard in and Isla Mirada, but uh, uh, getting ready to put the helmet on and uh, go for a ride. This bike's right over there.
if we estimated getting there at any good speed, that's not happening. It's uh, pretty windy and it looks like we're gonna average about 12 miles an hour. So we'll keep going and uh, I'll keep recording and post up a whole big thing here in a bit. The young lady we passed on the bridge, killing it. Good bike, good gym. We're gonna catch up to you. You did it. Oh, what a beautiful day. It's a little hot, but we're almost there. 40 miles, or 220s. So uh, we're gonna keep going.
will make some noise. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I thought I would give you some pointers on the ride. Uh, it, it was about 107 miles. Of that 107 miles, we might have spent 10 on the road. The rest was either on trail or crossing the bridges. The bridges themselves were a piece of cake to cross. If you're, if you're an experienced cyclist, you shouldn't have any problem there. Uh, we did occur, um, again, some rain in the beginning and then a headwind all the way down, which is uncommon for Key West. We just happened to be catching it right before a storm. We did have a great ride, uh, no issues. Uh, we probably stopped every 20 miles to refill our water bottles. Once we got to Deer Key, we stopped and had lunch, which you know most people probably wouldn't do if they were trying to make an effort to get down there. Uh, once we got there, we went uh, straight to uh, the point and uh, did our obligatory photo there, as you saw and then headed over to the Tipsy Rooster for a couple of drinks. After that, we went back to the hotel. We stayed at the Heron House. Um, unfortunately, we had to go pick up some clothes for ourselves because the wives were supposed to come down with a bag full of clothes for us. Unfortunately, their flight didn't make it, so we were on our own. So we ended up uh, purchasing new power cords for our phones, uh, a pair of shorts, a pair of flip-flops, uh, t-shirts, and uh, with that, that's all we needed for the weekend. So. Uh, we had a great time, uh, I, I, I had a good ride, I would definitely do it again, probably will in November. Um, you can look us up on LocoGringoAdventures.com if you want to join us, or if you just want some tips on how to go about the trip, uh, you're welcome to email me, and uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed it, I, I wish you the best on your cycling adventures, and we'll talk to you soon.